Temperatures soaring into the upper 70s, lower 80s across the area today. Still very mild out there. And we managed to get through most of Sunday without any rain for most of us. Take a look at the numbers. The coolest spot we can find right now, Connellsville, Clarion, and Franklin. 71 degrees and then some 60s over into Indiana, Somerset, and Dubois. Meanwhile, all the way over to the west, Washington still at 78. Look at Wheeling, still 81 degrees. Waynesburg, Morgantown, 75 degrees. And Pittsburgh checking in with 74 degrees. Little bit of scattered showers, just very isolated scattered showers just along the western edges of Beaver and Lawrence counties over the past few hours. Elsewhere, just to the west of there, there's been one cluster of storms moving through the Akron Cleveland area pulling from southwest to northeast with this uh, warm sector but we're just getting mainly the cloud cover starting to filter in and now that our sunset is coming up and we're looking at the loss of daytime heating our chances of any storms firing up are dwindling but you can see we're in that warm sector and then back to the west just to the west of Chicago look at that low pressure center spinning around and the approaching cold front that will all move closer to us over the next 48 hours. Also heading up the East Coast, Tropical Storm Arthur. This is the first named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season for 2020. Right now winds are 45 miles per hour. Hasn't strengthened much since last night. Moving north northeast at 9 miles per hour. Tomorrow afternoon it will brush by the outer banks of North Carolina and then fortunately head out to sea to the east. So that's some good news for us. I'll tell you why in just a minute. We'll show you on Futurecast here the rest of the evening. Chances of showers basically dying out with the sunset and we're only down to the 60s by around 11 p.m. And then upper 50s, lower 60s for Monday morning. Could see a sprinkle or two in the Laurel Highlands, but mainly just some mostly cloudy skies. Now, here comes that low pressure center in that front that we saw out over Chicago. As this slowly moves to the east, the models were trying to see whether that would interact with what is the moisture from Tropical Storm Arthur later this week. That won't be a problem, but we still get that low spinning over the Tennessee Valley, the lower Ohio River Valley. Most of this heavy rain that we'll get Tuesday will stay into Ohio, just west of us. But we still can't rule out some rain, some scattered showers, possibly even a rumble of thunder Tuesday. But it looks like most of tomorrow will stay dry late tomorrow night into Tuesday and then through early Wednesday, our best rain chances. So tonight, 62, the overnight low. Then 70s tomorrow. Then we dip down to highs in the 60s for three days. But Paul, look at this. Back to upper 70s, even some 80s for next weekend.